No, this is not just an ordinary goods train chugging smugly across country, but a very particular train called the Grower Special, which trundles for seven and three quarter miles along its own single track line from Wisbeach through rich Fenland to Upwell. For most of the way, it runs beside the main Wisbeach Ely Road, narrowly avoiding garden gates and shop doorways, sometimes ambling across the road with no more warning than a dignified hoot. At times, blocked by a stationary car or a lazy dog, or by two women deep in gossip, but never hurrying. For those interested in the technical details, this train began life in 1883, when it was drawn by a rare steam tram engine. There was only one other like it in existence, number 040Y6, a marvelously upright structure which was only withdrawn in favor of the ubiquitous diesel in 1953. Concerned now solely with the carrying of Fenland produce, in the old days, it was the favorite method of transport of the villagers from Elm, Upwell and Outwell, who for a mere thrillance could travel in sedate comfort to their market town. Driver Charlie Rapp has spent many years on the Wisbeach line, so he knows every inch of the way, as needs he must. For with the traffic of the 60s to one side, and with heedless pedestrians to the other, he has to take care. Arthur Downs is the guard, who as the train bumbles along, can call to the fruit pickers bent double over the strawberries, or to busy housewives hurrying home from Wisbeach. He can remember the days when boats came up this canal, laden with grain, merchandise, and heavy goods at a time when the roads were poorly surfaced and the canal the main thoroughfare for the goods coming into and going out from this district. Now the canal has silted up, its banks overgrown and its proud lock gates rotting away. Passing through Outwell, the train draws slowly towards its destination, pulling on its outward journey from Wisbeach a string of empty wagons which were weighted upwell until filled with strawberries. It is Arthur Down's job to apply the brakes in the guard van, then leap from the train while it is still moving to uncouple the wagons, leading them to roll to their siding while the engine proceeds to assemble the waiting laden trucks for the return journey. Charlie, how long have you been on the trains? Well, practically all my life. I started as an engine cleaner, then I passed my test for fireman, then I passed another test as a driver. Dave, how long have you been on? Uh, nearly 15 years, John. Uh, I've been on this particular run uh, four years. You're driving a, a diesel engine now. What did you drive before? Steam uh, trains before. What did the steam look like? Oh, beautiful. They're a wonderful job to work with. What was the appearance? Was very yes, different? very very clean the engines were. The front of the engines very clean. Did you ever carry passengers at all? Near yes, the on the steam trams, yes. Why, why don't you carry them now? Well, I got disbanded in 1927. Have you ever had any desire to drive one of the crack expresses? Oh, I should love to have done years ago, yes. But I'm afraid I'm a little bit too old for that, Neil. Have you ever had any accidents? Well, we've had one or two narrow misses. No, I think that's all I can say about that. Uh, we had a, a car in the way this afternoon. Have you ever had anything else in the way? Yes, we've had uh, ocean, ocean traps. Sometimes there's been some cattle on the rail. Bicycles, children, also dogs. It's a very pleasant spring day today, but what's it like in the winter? We uh, sometimes have to walk in front of the tram, especially across the main roads. And uh, even when it's snowing badly, we, we have a heck of a job. Are you kept busy in the winter? Well, not so busy as we are, of course, in the summer when the strawberries are about, but we do have a certain amount of coal going down the tram and, and, and potatoes coming away. But, of course, in the summertime it's different. We have strawberries and the soft fruit. What major changes have you noticed in the railways? With the diesel coming now, it, it's a lot better. But uh, to my idea, steam, it was just a job. Now, I noticed this afternoon we weren't exactly sticking to a rigid timetable. Have you actually got a timetable? Well, yes, John, we have a timetable. But, uh, of course, when we are picking fruit up and flowers on the side of the track, we can't run to it. But uh, our appendix does say that if we are behind time to do our best, 
to gain the time so that the mainline trains can get away with it. And uh, we always do our best. Charlie, if you had your time again, would you do the same thing again? Yes, I'll let them, I'll let them work. It's a good job. And the hours are very good and the pay is good. I've got no complaints. Here in Upwell, the yard has been one of busy morning activity, with the smallholders and fruit growers arriving at all hours with their produce. The strawberries have come fresh from the fields, where a motley band of students and gypsies are helping the local women to pick the fruit quickly before it spoils. The strawberries are weighed and sorted on the spot, arranged in punnets and brought directly to the train where they are packed with great care, so that they may reach their northern destinations unbruised. For a bruised strawberry is a sad thing indeed, and one which even the greediest will bemoan. So much a part of the natural landscape is the grower special that a robin has dared to nest above one of the wheels, wisely assuming that the men are too busy with the delicious concerns of the stomach to worry about her. By about five o'clock, all the fruit has been loaded, and if it's been a busy day, the train may leave Upwell pulling as many as 50 wagons. Once again, Arthur Downs sees that the right trucks are coupled on and that all the doors are closed before waving to Charlie Rand at the other end. Slowly, the train picks up speed to travel at its maximum 12 miles per hour so that it may reach Whitemore, the main marshalling yard for all East Anglia, in time to catch the freight expresses for the morning markets. Like their colleagues who man the strawberry special and the raspberry special, Driver Rand and his men are doing a fine job, often under difficult conditions and at irregular hours, to ensure that the growers will get their produce to market in fresh condition and so get the best prices. The people of Wisbeach have a great affection for the growers special and its men, who for their part love their job and wouldn't change it for any other. Good luck to them.